Hi, I'm Chris Van Hollen, and I'm running for the United States Senate. I've had the honor of representing parts of Montgomery County for over a decade, and now I'm running to represent our entire state. Like Senator Mikulski, I will fight to get things done for hardworking Marylanders. My focus has always been on translating our values and priorities into real action. In Annapolis, I worked to beat the NRA and pass the first built-in trigger lock law in the country to prevent accidental shootings. I took on the oil companies to ban drilling in the Chesapeake Bay watershed and passed the law to stop the tobacco lobby from peddling cigarettes to our kids. And I worked to pass the Thornton Education Law to increase school funding across our state. I've taken the same approach in Congress, where I was proud to be part of the team that helped President Obama pass the Affordable Care Act, the Wall Street Reform Bill, and the Economic Recovery Package. I led the successful fight to stop big banks from making outrageous profits off the student loan program so we could use the savings to help more students afford college. Now I'm fighting Republican Tea Party efforts to roll back Social Security and end the Medicare guarantee. There is much more work to be done. That's why I put forward proposals to address the middle class squeeze and gun violence and climate change. We must take action to tackle our most pressing challenges. It's indisputable that gridlock and polarization are a huge problem in Washington. When people run on an agenda of no compromise, our debates become all or nothing shouting matches that create dysfunction. I think that's the wrong approach for working families and I search for common ground whenever possible. Maryland needs a senator with a proven record of achievement who won't just talk about our problems, but who will, who will fight for real progress. I've spent my life working for results, and I am pleased to have been endorsed for Senate by the Washington Post, the SEIU, the United Auto Workers, the Sierra Club, and Maryland's firefighters. I ask for your support in the Democratic primary on April 26th.